Fine tuning an AI model simply means to adjust its existing weights and biases to fit a specific task or data set, typically using a smaller amount of data and computational resources. This process starts with a pre-trained or base model. Then it makes slight adjustments to the model's parameters to adapt to the new task or data. And then this improves the model's performance on the specific task or data set. So this is what fine tuning is all about. Fine tuning is like customizing a pre-built car to better suit your driving needs rather than building a new car from scratch. Few days back, I covered a new tool from Hugging Face called as Auto Train to fine tune any model locally with a lot of ease. I showed you its graphical user interface and I also showed you in these videos which you can see on your screen how to do it through CLI. In this video, I am going to share with you Auto Train Advanced or Auto Train Configs. Auto Train Configs make it more easier for anyone to train or fine tune any large language model from Hugging Face. These configs are easy to understand and are not at all overwhelming and I will show you shortly. And we will also be using these configs on our local system to fine tune a model. So if you are a person with almost zero knowledge of machine learning, you can train state of the art models without writing any code. So I will be showing you as how to do it. So let me quickly take you to my Ubuntu system without wasting any further time. And then we will start cracking. This is my Ubuntu system and I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and I have around 22 GB of VRAM plus my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear my screen. So before I proceed further, I will show you my Conda environment. So Conda or Anaconda is an environment which is used to keep everything separate and nice and clean so that whatever we are going to install doesn't impact our existing configuration. So you can see that I already have Conda installed. If you don't know how to install it, I have a few videos where I go into detail step by step as how to install Conda. Okay. So as a first step, we need to install auto train for that. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda by simply specifying the name of the environment and specifying our Python environment. Simply press Y here and let everything to get installed. It is done. Let's do Conda activate auto train and you will see that it now your virtual environment is activated as shown by these parentheses and auto train. Let me clear the screen. In the next step, let's install, uh, let's git clone this repo of Autotrain which I showed you. So let me grab its URL from there. And if you don't know how to grab URL, let me quickly show you how to do that. So this is the repository and I'll drop the link in video description. Scroll above, click on this green button and grab this URL. That's all you need to do. So I already have done it. Let's go back to my terminal. And here, simply type git clone and then the URL of auto train. Let's wait for it. That is done. Let's cd to auto train advanced. Let's clear the screen. And now let's simply install all the prerequisites into this directory. Let me quickly do that. Now, there are two ways of doing it. First, you can git clone and then install all these requirements with pip install requirements.txt and I'll give you the command this either you can do this or if you want to go simple way you can simply do pip install auto train advanced and for if you are using this pip install you don't even have to git clone the repository uh, but there is a reason why I have cloned it so I will keep it, it there I'm just going to do pip install auto train advanced let's wait for it to finish and i think i already installed it earlier but let's wait for it and if you have already installed it then simply upgrade it all the prerequisites are done and 
auto train advanced is also installed let me clear the screen and then you need to install this pytorch and torch vision into this virtual environment and this is going to take a bit of a time if you are doing it first time so just press y here and let's wait for it to finish that is done let's also install the CUDA compiler and vcc let's wait for it just press y here and that is also done let me clear the screen so this is all there is to it for the installation now before i proceed further let me show you the crux of this video the auto train configs which are which have been supplied by the uh, auto train advanced so let me take you to the browser this is the same github repo click on configs and here you will see that there are a lot of auto train advanced configs which are available which you can readily use for example if i go to text classification these are few of the configs and for example if you want to go to uh, text regression there are few more and then there are a lot of other examples which you can check out from their github repo and for our purpose let's go to llm fine tuning in the configs and then this is the one i'm going to use there are few others if you want like supervised fine tuning or QLaura, but I'm going to go with Orpo. And what is Orpo? I will describe it shortly. So if you click here, you will see that this is a config which they have provided you out of the box. You don't have to do anything. If you have your own data set, simply replace it with this line. That's it. Or give it the local path. Or if it is on hugging face, you can give hugging face path. This is a base model we are fine tuning, and you can replace it with your own model if you like. And then from there, all you need to do is to just because we are doing it local, it is local. And then uh, we are training it. We are not doing any validation and chat template, chat ML, which is quite common. And then these are few of the parameters which you don't have to worry about at all. But just to give you a quick idea as what exactly this is. First and foremost, we are fine tuning this model as per ORPO technique. Now there are various techniques out there but orpo is one of the finest one it's very exciting it combines the traditional supervised fine tuning and preference alignment stages into a single process which reduces computational resources and time required for training the thing is that instruction tuning and preference alignments are essential techniques for fine tuning llms for specific tasks this Without ARPO, it involves a multi-stage process. First, supervised fine-tuning on instruction to adapt the model to a target domain, followed by a preference alignment method like RLHF, which is Reinforcement Learning with Human Feedback, or DPO, Direct Preference Optimization, to increase the likelihood of generating preferred responses. So, this ARPO combines both of these steps. It offers an elegant solution to this issue and it combines instruction tuning and preference alignment into a single monolithic training process so there are a lot of other uh, details into it but i'm not going to go into it i have done various other videos where i go into detail just search my channel with the keyword orpo as far as the rest of the lot is concerned i mean the parameter let me quickly describe them so first and foremost is the block size and let me make it slightly bigger so that you will be able to see it okay so here this block size i'll just close this so block size means that it determines the sequence length of the input data that the model processes at once in this case the model will process sequences of 10 24 tokens and tokens could be words or sentences at a time model max length is 8192 this parameter sets the maximum length of the input sequence that the model can handle if the input sequence is longer than this it will be truncated max prompt length is 512 and this sets a maximum length of prompt or input text that can be provided to the model epochs are three and these are the training epochs which represent how many times the model will see the training data during the fine tuning batch size is the number of samples that will be processed together as a single batch during training 
then we have lr 3e5 this is a learning rate which determines how quickly the model learns from the training data a smaller value means the model will learn more slowly but may converge to a better solution then we have uh, peft which is a parameter efficient fine tuning technique we have enabled it which is a method for fine tuning llms with limited computational resources we are setting quantization to int 4 this parameter enables quantization of the model weights and activations to 4 bit integers that can reduce memory usage and improve inference speed target modules we are specifying all linear and these are the modules of the model to apply the quantization to so all linear layers will be quantized in this way we are setting padding to write so uh, so this is the padding direct so for the input sequences that are shorter than the block size this padding will be added to the right side of the sequence optimizer we are using the Adam W <clears throat> and this is optimizer algo used for fine-tuning the model Adam W is quite popular stochastic gradient descent algo that adapts a learning rate for each parameter individually scheduler is linear which is a learning rate scheduler that determines how the learning rate changes over time in this case the learning rate will decrease linearly over the training epochs we are setting gradient accumulation to 4 this parameter controls how many batches to accumulate gradients for before updating the model's parameter we are setting mixed precision to F floating point 16 and this parameter enables mixed precision training which uses a combination of 16 bit and 32 bit floating point numbers to reduce memory usage and improve training speed so these are all the things which are using the hub section specify if you want to push it to hugging face just specify your hugging face username hugging face token and push to hub true otherwise you can set it to false and these are the um, environment variables which you need to set uh, need to set and let if you want to do it let me quickly show you how you can do that in the terminal so let's go back to the terminal and then we will so i already have cloned the repo so it means that if you sorry if you do here ls ltr you are going to see that config folder and then we can second last one and you, the, all the examples are there all the configs are there but before that let's go back to, uh, let's go to hugging face and then i will show you where you get could get your token so let me take you to the browser so this is the hugging face website on the top right simply click here and then click on settings oh, and by the way on the left hand side you see my username is Fahad Mirza C on profile top left click on settings on the left hand side click on access tokens and then this is my hugging face token you can create a new one if you don't have it. just click on new token give it any name and you will have your token let me grab an existing one let's go back to terminal and this is my terminal let me quickly um, set the hugging face username which is i'll just say export hf underscore username is equal to with a c similarly i'll say hf underscore token is equal to i'm going to give this token here maybe i'll just put it in double quotes and don't worry i'm going to delete that token shortly that is done so we have set it both hopefully username is they don't need the username in double quote but just do it later for the sake of it okay so let's clear the screen and now let me show you how you can run this auto train with the existing config so here all you need to do is to give this command auto train space dash dash config and pass to our this config file which is in gml format and then it is going to do the llm fine tuning you don't have to do anything else this is how easy it is so you just pressed enter and it has started the auto train it is you see it has started the output training it is downloading the readme it is downloading the data data set so let's wait for it to finish There you go. Download the tokenizer, all the examples, 
and this not downloading the model and there are four shards of the model and this process of course is going to take bit of a time so last shard is being downloaded and you see that the model has been loaded and loaded on the shards and now fine tuning is in progress and that is going to take bit of a time also if you note down from that config this is all you needed to do it will fine tune the model on that data set and when it is completed it is going to upload it automatically to hugging face you don't have to do any sort of coding and that is the beauty of this auto train configs so you can see that the training has started and i don't have any et i think it is going to take few hours so i'm not going to wait for it to show you so right now it is oh my god it is showing us like it requires around 21 hours it won't be i don't think so it is going to be 21 hours i think this should be around six to seven hours at max but let's see depends on your data set your uh, gpus and all that stuff but that's it guys i hope that you uh, enjoyed it let me know what do you think i think this is one of the best tool auto train advanced for all of us some mere models i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching